In this video, we'll learn how to create resource user field values, and also I'll show you some interoperability tools between Synchro and Revit. Let's imagine the case when you need to approve changes with design team. First of all, we need to record our changes. Why would we need to do it? Firstly, as we start filling down parameters to the resources, uh, they will disappear from our list. And in case of erroneous input, we won't be able to trace changes. Please remember, if you have a parameter in Revit but it doesn't have any value, it will not be displayed in Synchro. For this operation, we will create two user fields for resources. Now let's open user field graph. Go to the project controls and choose user fields. More deeply, we will learn about user fields in the course of our lectures. Now let's click over the empty field and choose add. Let's name it as revision date. Change its category from task to resource. It's type from integer to string. And leave it as do not calculate. OK. Let us add another user field. and name it as proposed value. Change its category to resource and type to string too. Now let's go back to resources. Go to the customize columns and find our user field. Here it is, it's a revision date and and proposed value. Let's bring him up. For these values, let's add a revision date. I will use today's day stamp. Now hold the control button and drag it down. Now let's filter our table based on the revision date. Right click filter equals cell value. So for these resources we will propose a value. For example for this roof windows we will use roof line. And for the rest of the items let's use it as level two. We need a revision date timestamp in order to filter our resources and see what value is being proposed on this date. Let's also add element ID column. Select all the resources in the table, copy them. Let's save our file. And name it as proposed values. Let's close the Excel. Open the Revit, the Manage tab, click over Dynamo Player. Let's find our script and adjust inputs. So our report is this file, the sheet name is 1, number of the ID column is 012. The number of proposed values is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. Now let us select an element and run the script. You see that proposed values have been filled in the comment tab. Now if the responsible engineer approves it, we will export a file and synchronize it in SynchroPro.